divine council or sangha. Sangha or council is a popular trumpet used in every ritual of Hinduism. It heralds the auspiciousness of an occasion and its divine sound sanctifies the place as well as the event. Whistling a sankar requires special skill and not everybody can do it. Some Hindu priests also can whistle two conches at the same time. In the time of blowing a conchel, we have to grab it by the right hand so that the fingers settle at the corresponding marks in the conch group and then slightly raise your chin so that our wine pipe serves as a easy airway. First, sufficient amount of air is inhaled and is channeled out through a small crack from the lip joint into the hole of cons. The air should be very slowly exhaled to sustain the constant sound. The cheek muscle would fatigue, giving rise to pain if the cons is whistled multiple times. There are two types of cons trumpeting. The first one is a single tone which is whistled at only one occasion and that is during the funeral procession of a Hindu. The second one is double toned which is whistled in every other pious occasions like wedding, Bratamanda, which is the holy thread wearing ceremony, Jaladan, Sraddha, which is the anniversary of someone's death, Puja, Saptaha, which is the worship and Bhagavad holy speech that runs for a week, and Chaurasi or Chandraharsha Puja, which is the 84th birthday celebration of Hindu, and so on. So, it is always mandated that an expert should whistle the cons because if the cons accidentally trumpets single tone sound in a happy occasion, it symbolizes a very bad omen. Sankha or holy cons is cast by a marine gastropod called Turvinella, which is a carnivorous sea snail found generally in the Indian Ocean. They are of two types. Common one is the left coil in which the uppermost opening is spiraled in a clockwise fashion and another one is right coil which is slightly rare and is called Dakshinavarti Sankha. In Hinduism, Bhagavad Gita cites cons flowing by Lord Krishna multiple times because first trumpeting would signal the start of a war and second trumpeting at the end of the day would signal the halt of the war. There are peculiar names given for Sankha possessed by different deities as follows. Lord Krishna, Panchajanya, Lord Arjuna, Devdatta, Vim, Padram, Yudhishthir, Ananta Vijay, Nakul, Sughosh, Shahadev, Manipuspak. So here I have accumulated holy double tone sound of Shankar captured during the Chaurashi Puja of one of my maternal grandfathers. <laughs>